Good day viewers and thanks for tuning in to Polymer Update TV. I am Pratiksha Jaipal and we are joined by Pankaj Poddar, Group CEO at Cosmo Films Limited. Pankaj, thank you for speaking with us. Thank you. Let me begin by asking you about the BOPP project. It's the world's largest BOPP line. Take us through it. Yeah, so it, you're right. It is uh, going to be the largest project. Uh, we are going to put this at Aurangabad. Uh, the nameplate capacity is uh, 67,000 tons. It's a 10.4 meter line. Uh, in fact, even in 2017, we were the first ones to put the largest capacity back then. And uh, once again, we are going to now uh, put up the largest capacity uh, in the financial year 24-25. What is the potential of BOPP market in India? So the market in India is growing at a good pace and obviously the uh, flexible packaging consumption in India is still very low. Uh, it will go up in the years to come, especially with modern trade picking up, with the online trade picking up, the uh, incomes of the families are going up, a woman going to work and therefore they are preferring more uh, packaged food. So there are many factors which will uh, ensure that the flexible packaging will continue to grow for next uh, at least 20 years in India at a close to a double digit growth. And, uh, you know, so obviously anybody who's into flexible packaging should get the advantage out of this. You've chalked out an investment plan of rupees 315 crores. Now that's a whopping amount. How are you going to fund this project? Yes, yeah, so it's uh, going to be internal accruals and debt. Uh, mix of both and as you could see that uh, our balance sheet is uh, at a very comfortable position. Our debt bid ratios are close to 1, uh, our debt equity ratios are close to 0 0.3, 0 0.4. Uh, so very healthy balance sheet and uh, we are already a double A uh, minus rated company and uh, uh, therefore uh, we are going to do it through internal accruals and debt. Is there any reason for choosing Aurangabad for this project? There are many reasons for that. Uh, obviously, we have a very large setup in Aurangabad. Our senior technical management sits out of Aurangabad, uh, who have several years of experience, and therefore uh, that makes us the uh, company of choice for our customers. Uh, with all their experience, they are able to make better products. Then our R&D sits out of Aurangabad. We have uh, more than 30 plus scientists who are working in R&D function, and therefore uh, they can uh, keep working on the lines, on the products and make new innovative products for the, con uh, for the customers at large. Uh, then the other thing is it is very close to the port. And given that Cosmo exports almost 50% of its uh, sales out of India, uh, therefore we always prefer a location which is closer to the port. We can increase our speciality sales. Uh, we can let the uh, world uh, use our films and uh, therefore from multiple objectives Aurangabad is a very suitable location to us. Since we're talking about the BOPP line, when will you plan to commence commercial production in this plant? Normally in the past we were ab always able to do it uh, within 18 months of ordering uh, but because of such a VUCA world costs are changing every other day, uh, you know supply chains are impacted. Uh, the ma machine manufacturer has shown right now its inability to supply in a shorter horizon. Uh, we are continuously engaging with them that, uh, you know, to try and see if uh, the equipment can be supplied faster. But as of now, it looks like that uh, we'll be able to start up towards the end of FY24-25. What is the current capacity of Cosmos BOPP production in your existing facility? And what will be the company's total capacity once Aurangabad plant comes on stream? So right now it is 200,000 tons for BOPP film alone. Right. Uh, then obviously we have capacities for CPP, metallizer, coating, but all the, other than CPP, most of these are value added assets. Uh, therefore, I'm not going to add up in the capacity. Uh, for CPP, we have uh, close to uh, nine to 10,000 tons capacity. Uh, we are putting up a polyester line next year and uh, that will add up roughly 30,000 tons to our capacity and this new BOPP line will add up another 67,000 tons. So after all these expansions, we'll be sitting at close to 300,000 tons of capacity. Could you please talk about the production and sales for your thermal lamination films project? Yes, so we are the largest player for thermal lamination films in the world. Uh, one of the best in quality, the maximum uh, 
bandwidth in terms of uh, uh, locations where we supply, uh, the number of SKUs we supply, uh, the number of uh, options that we can give to the customer from a width perspective, length perspective, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, so, so we continue to be the leaders and uh, there what we are seeing is that uh, in developed markets, uh, market is very stable. There is not uh, much of growth. Uh, while in the developing countries, uh, they are still catching up and therefore uh, we see growth happening in the developing markets. Uh, customers simply love our quality and uh, normally we are the uh, trend setters, we are the price setters. We uh, have a very stable customer base who have been buying from us for several years because of the consistent quality and the product basket that we are able to provide them. Uh, as far as our capacities are concerned, uh, we can, uh, uh, you know, uh, produce. We can produce close to uh, thirty thousand tons per annum, and uh, you know, we largely produce BOPP-based thermal lamination films, but we are also into polyester thermal lamination films, nylon thermal lamination films, and then there are a host of value add that we are able to do from a from a uh, you know uh, the look and feel of the film. So we have a velvet lamination film, we have scuff, we have silky mat, we have uh, gloss film, we have linen film. So there are a host of uh, other uh, touch and feel that we are able to provide to our customers. The government has set a target for the Indian plastics industry to achieve a total turnover of rupees 10 lakh crores in five years. And we're sitting at 3 lakh crores now. Given that the per capita plastic consumption is very low in India, do you see this target achievable? See, India has to do multiple things to achieve this. First thing is that uh, India is not putting enough capacity for polymer. As of now, it looks like that if India doesn't put uh, polymer capacities, then India will have to import a lot of polymer. And if you have to import polymer, then it's not easy to be competitive on the finished good prices. The second thing is, which I see is that in India, uh, none of the premier engineering institutes uh, still have courses for plastics. So all this talent has been built up more by the uh, companies on their own. And I would strongly urge the government to look at creating, uh, you know, polymer positions in very good colleges. I mean, there are, there are a lot of uh, CPIT colleges are there. There are a lot of other polytechnic colleges are there. There are some private institutions are there. But when you talk about the best in the class, they have a lot of focus on chemical engineering, but plastics is another area which I think these colleges should introduce as a formal course. The third thing uh, which I feel uh, is extremely, again, uh, critical for the country is the recycling of plastics. Today, government, I feel, is to a large extent confused how much of this plastic recycling has to be done by the government and how much of it has to be privatized. Uh, and it starts from the waste collection to the waste segregation part. Uh, however, these three important things that I talked about, uh, specifically the first and the third, uh, that needs a lot of government attention. And if that is provided, uh, I think even a 10 lakh crore uh, is not a great, I mean, I wouldn't say that is it, it, easily doable and perhaps we can do even more than this. Pankaj, thank you so much for taking the time. It was really a pleasure. Thank you. This was Pankaj Poddal from Cosmo Films speaking to us exclusively about the way forward of Cosmo Films. News and reports continue on the other side. This is Polymer Update with me, Pratik Shojapal from Mumbai. Many thanks for watching. <laughs>